Burgers, everybody. I love doing that. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. I am so glad you're here. And I've just noticed, because we have a monitor behind the TV, and the TV is like... Uh, the monitor has been moved, so we'll fix that. So we're probably the monitor off. or the camera. The, camera. the camera's moved. Yeah, because you keep just grabbing it with your yeah. mini hands. You ready? And you're supposed to be soft to the camera. What do you mean? I thought, is that not what we're yeah. doing? What? Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. Cut out all that comedic gold at the beginning, aren't you? Welcome well, to you'll never know. Friday. I'm just going to keep cutting them off. It's, just cause it's cocktail annoying. hour. <laughs> And we're going to make some great cocktails. Um, this is an established cocktail, but it's going to be a little variation of our own um, because we don't have all of the ingredients as we'll specified. Do. We're going to make do. But hopefully that's what you do at home is you just Frankenstein everything together. Well, and this make do should make perfect sense. Yeah. So, so um, before we get on to that, uh, we want to do a great shout out to Rain Cane uh, Vodka. They are a partner with us, so if you uh, go down below and there's a link there and you click on that and you order from them, you can get a discount using that code. And uh, they are an exceptional vodka, so take a look at this. Hey Cody, how are you today? <laughs> so we're getting ready to um, work our cocktails for Friday and um, some ingredients we um, tend to use a lot. And vodka is one of them, right? Yeah. So uh, when I make uh, cocktails, I really like a good vodka. And we've used some different brands and everything. But we discovered Rain Cane just recently. And I poured you some. And Rain Cane is probably one of the best vodkas we've had. Yeah, it's been up there because you can... No. <laughs> and you're not going to get any burn up your nose. Yeah. It's... And it's not low proof or anything it's 40 percent alcohol yeah it's an 80 proof common vodka um from uh alaska actually it's not from alaska it's from california but they use alaskan glacier water um it is the, so the, there's caveman pee in this okay <laughs> mammoth mammoth um i really a, get the giant sloth and mammoth <laughs> in this nobody's gonna buy it now um, why wouldn't you <laughs> I, I think cool. that this is what vodka should be. It is um, non-aroma, so it's not going to... Odorless, uh, colorless. Odorless, colors. It actually tastes really good to me. It's got a... Yeah, it's, but not... It's a slight sweetness to it. Very, um, very slight. But it's not overwhelming, and I think this is what most bartenders look for in creating common um, cocktails. Now, yeah. if you're going to do a cocktail that requires a specific flavor profile that that vodka is going to intense or put into, like a flavored vodka, then that's yeah. different. But, but if you're wanting to make, say, a, a drink that also is alcoholic, but you don't want the alcohol to change the color or the, change the flavor with right. something weird and bitter, you use vodka because... It's supposed to be that. It's way. supposed to be. And we've had people argue with us that no, vodka is supposed to taste like something. No, it's supposed to be odorless and tasteless. Well, yeah. And nothing's ever tasteless. Right. But. So um, we yeah. like Rain Cane. Um, and you can get this in the store for about $34 uh, a bottle, depending on your store. You can also get it online through Rain Cane for $34. But what I really like about Rain Cane is that you can order it online, and the more bottles you buy, the cheaper it is. And you can get on a subscription. So maybe you want to get a bottle every week or every month or every six weeks or whatever. And the more you um, put on your order, the less each cost. So if you get more than one bottle, so you get two bottles, then it's down to $31. Um, and they ship just about everywhere. Now, obviously, there's local laws um, that they have no control of. But if you yeah. are able to get uh, whiskey, or sorry, if you're able to get alcohol um, shipped to your house, um, which is most states, even here in Texas, um, then you can... Um, order this online. And if you do, um, there'll be a link below and that helps us out because we have partnered with them and we will um, continue to use Rain Cane and a lot of our cocktails that require vodka that um, don't need a specific style of flavor to it. Um, but it's a great, 
great uh, vodka. I think it's probably my favorite right now. There's always changes, but um, now there's flavored ones I like too, but this is my favorite plain vodka and um, we'll continue to use it. So check it out and let us know what you think, but make sure you hit that link for your ability to get a discount through us on Rain Cane. All right, have a great day and we're gonna start making cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we're back. So today we're doing... The Kentucky Buck. That one. The Kentucky Buck, or our version of the Kentucky Buck. And so this is just a pleasant summertime uh, drink. It's a bourbon drink because it's Kentucky. So Only um, fulfilled one of the requirements you had for today. Yeah, I said any requirements and this is only one. I tried, man. I tried, yeah. but I wasn't feeling it. I wanted a nice summer drink because it's kind of hot and it was yeah. a tough day at work and I just it wanted was. a summer drink. But um, this is still a summer drink, but I was thinking more of vodka or gin, not bourbon, but... We could always cut the bourbon. <laughs> nah, let's do this. All right, this is the Kentucky Buck. So what we're going to do is in this shaker, we're going to add a couple of muddled strawberries. Muddled strawberries. So he's got... Not that we're muddling the strawberries with... Okay, that's fine. Ingredient. You can do it in the straight shaker. Um, no. And you want to uh, muddle it with a three quarters ounce of ginger syrup. Now this is our first de uh, deviation. We don't have uh, ginger syrup. We looked everywhere. We thought we had ginger syrup and we still may have ginger syrup. We almost certainly do. We're gonna go buy ginger syrup, yeah. come back and place it next to the ginger syrup we already have. Yeah, we just couldn't find it. So what we're doing is we do have ginger bitters and simple syrup. So Cody's gonna concoct a replacement for ginger syrup with ginger bitters and ginger holy ginger or and simple syrup um and let's see how that works it could be awful we have not pre-tried this drink by the way yeah we no everything that cody was trying to come up with was a failure and i think he's got a dump yeah i just somewhere. wasn't feeling strawberries on their own no yeah. i Drink them, drunk, mm, drunk them. I drunk one and dumped the other because it was bad. Okay, so three quarters of an ounce of. I have to drink that. That's ginger. Okay, three quarters Ooh, that ounce. Was spicy. Three quarters of an ounce of ginger syrup, with um, a couple strawberries. He's got some strawberries in there. He's gonna muddle it. You could actually muddle it in this, the shaker, but it's too hard to. Reach down there. We don't Reach have down there. a tall muddler. Oops. Did I just spit in there? I'll have to do a... I have to drink out of that, man. <laughs> Come full circle. I prefer like a smash. So I would, you know, the garnish is strawberries, which we don't have um, those prepared. So it's not going to have it. Oh, we should have just picked out a couple more. Yeah, but I prefer the, uh, um, the smash. So I might just actually think about muddling it in my glass but we'll see they're very stringy i wouldn't do it with these i don't the, know yeah uh, they're pulpy they're pulpy i say we strain it i've already had several pulpy strawberry mixes today trying to meet his requirements and he finds one is like let's just throw out one of the requirements okay we're also going to add two ounces of bourbon yeah sorry this is taking a moment yeah so i have to find the two ounce mark you don't want them to Nah, I got this. I didn't know you had that out. So one up there again. All right, we're using uh, our bar bourbon, which is Wild Turkey 101. You can use any regular, I'd say Kentucky bourbon. Nothing's too strong or too um, out there. Uh, three quarters ounce of lemon juice. And unfortunately, we checked our lemons today and they went bad on us. They didn't go bad on us. We, we didn't let it use go bad. them for a month after they would have already gone bad, but they were in their fridge. Yeah, we <laughs> we're not good at keeping up. I've been with traveling fresh a bit. And and three quarter. Wow, that looks like a lot. But three quarters ounce. We're it always looks like a lot with lemon juice. We're going to divide this, by the way, between two. So we're only you're only going to pour half in each because oh, we okay. just want to sip. Um, and then we want two dashes of Angostura bitters. Doing the ice. Yeah. And we want a little ice in there, just a little bit to give it some uh, chill factor. 
And then Cody's going to add the um, uh, ginger bitter, or the ginger strawberries. I already did. Okay. So he's going to give that a good shake. And while he does that, I'm going to get ice for these. So just gonna... Okay, you're going to strain into the Collins glass. So, yeah, you can double strain it just so you don't have that um, half and half. I don't think he did half and half. I think he got more. I think the chunks have filled up the strainer. <laughs> Broke that time. Broke a Glencairn. And it's probably one of my new ones. I don't... We'll be right back. We'll be right back. All right. We, we okay. cleaned it up. We're yeah. back. We're back. Nothing so, happened. So um, I think he got most of this strain, by the way. And as predicted... Um, that's a little bit less, that's more. But now what we want to do is top this with club soda. Top this with club soda. By the way, he did break one of my good I, you Glen were, Karens. It's, it's your? Not that we have a shortage of Glen Karens No, here. that's the problem why one of them's on top and it's perfectly secure. Yeah. So we're gonna top with this with uh, club soda and then you want to garnish it with a lemon wheel and strawberry slice but i would like to taste this before we do the lemon let's and so this is the kentucky buck um our recipe you're gonna have to well i'm pretty sure we made some simple syrup ginger simple syrup there maybe a little too gingery but... smells really good almost smells like well, I guess it's Angus store I'm getting. Probably. Ooh, that's tasty. That's real tasty. Bitterer than I expected. I don't think uh, my wife would like it because it's got ginger in it. She's not a ginger fan. I expect it to be sweeter, but it's not. This one. Yeah. So let's go ahead and try this. Well, I'm not sure lemon bitter is going to make a difference. It's got lemon juice in it. No, we're not. So I'm going to skip that. You just garnish it with lemon. You know what the really good garnish with this would be? I'm I'm going to go out on a limb and say a jalapeno. Spice it up just a bit. Maybe. Like a fresh jalapeno, not the from the bottle. That's it's tasty. Definitely not as sweet as I was expecting, but the ginger doesn't yeah. overpower, so I didn't make too bad of ginger syrup. This is really good. I think that... In the future, you know, we need to get some ginger syrup, which we probably have some. I could also see having this with, uh, like, fajitas. Yeah. I would think that in the future, I would like to um, add a little bit bigger strawberries. Give it a little more strawberry Fresh mix. strawberries, yeah. too, instead of frozen. Yeah. And uh, we could use the um, strawberry bourbon we have, but... And maybe a little less lemon juice. Yeah. But I also think that it would be really nice to muddle a jalapeno up with that. I, I think it'd be kick. a little little kick there. But that's our version of the Kentucky Buck, which, you know, you might want to think about trying this out because Kentucky Derby's coming up in just a few weeks. That's a horse race. Uh -oh. So it's coming, out. <laughs> it's coming out in just a few weeks. Um, but tell us what your version of the Kentucky Buck is. Who's the greatest Kentucky Buck um, um Maker, you know, have you had it in a bar? If you're in Kentucky, you probably have had it at a bar. But um, what is your favorite recipe? Leave those comments below. What's another great um, bourbon cocktail that's kind of unusual? You know, not an old-fashioned or anything. But let us know uh, all about that. I hope you have a great weekend. Cody and I are off doing a barrel pick. So if Cody makes it this time. So that's exciting. Um, so leave your comments below about your favorite um, bourbons. We're actually picking a rye um, at this place so uh, for this barrel pick. And I'll be sure to review it once it comes to my house. But anywho, make sure you do check out Rain Cane Vodka. Uh, we didn't put vodka in here. That was one of the things we were going to do, but we did it. Check them out. Check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. And I'm going to drink this and go eat because I'm ready for food. Have a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers. So you're saying that this Kentucky, Kentucky Derby thing is that they race deers?
No, I said... It says Kentucky Buck. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Thank <laughs> you.